Hey guys, I told you guys in part two that if it just cut off, that's because my camera died. And I know I was telling you guys a while back that I was going to buy an SD card for my camera. And I did. And for my new camera that I don't use. And I did put it in there. And I don't understand why it still doesn't have room. Because when you look on the camera at the memory space, it shows you that there's a lot of space on the SD card. But then it says on the camera that there's no room. And when I start filming, the video ends after like two minutes. So I still can't use my new camera and I'm still confused with it. So I'm still using my old camera with the bad quality, which just really sucks. So, And it also dies really fast. So that's why it cut off. I have it plugged in as I'm filming. So just bear with me. I left off on this bone telling you guys that I probably couldn't give it to my dog because you guys know I have a teacup chihuahua. I could, but that's just a bit ridiculous. And I was also telling you guys about how I gave some of the stuff away that I wanted to show you guys, including the dog collar, because if you guys have big dogs or small dogs, these collars were an awesome, awesome deal for a dollar. They were like some of the collars that you see at PetSmart or Walmart or Target. So I got this, and like I said, it's called Natural Gourmet Brand Dog Treats. And then if I find the wrapper for the bone that I already gave my dog and then the um, the tag that the collar came with, I will show you guys those because I know I put them aside to be able to show you. And then there was a couple other things that I already gave away too that I wanted to show you guys. So... Here's the second sippy cup um, that I got for the boy. So I'll put the girl one next to it um, that I got this trip. So I have, I believe, four now because I told you I got the green safari one and the blue pirate one. These both have the rubber thing in the lids. Those, So this is the girl one with the owls. And then this one's kind of like a safari one as well. But it is different. Um, it is more different than the green one. More different. Um... Great vocabulary, Jessica. Anyways, there's a little giraffe, a monkey, a little toucan bird. So I think that if you have kids, these sippy cups are a great deal because they have the rubber thing in the top. So definitely if you see these, don't pass them up either as a gift or for your own children. So then, and we're still on Dollar Tree stuff, uh, by the way. So then also I got this and it's still got the plastic on it. it so that's why it looks all kind of like bubbly um so it won't look like that once i take it off it says the apple of my eye i thought it would have been cute for robert to give to his teacher because it has the apple i'm not sure i kind of like it for my house as well i don't know i don't really do apples but then also my neighbor the one that tends to get on my nerves sometimes um i still do um you know, she's still a kind of a friend or like an acquaintance. So she does apples in her kitchen. So I'm kind of on the fence about what I'm going to do with this. But this was from the Dollar Tree and I just thought it was too cute to pass up. <clears throat> My throat is bothering me so bad and I wish it wasn't for this video. Then I got these, and these are little votive holders, and I actually got these to keep for my house because you guys know I love anything with bling, and I have a lot of gray and black in my house. It wasn't meant to be that way. It was meant to be um, black and kind of a mocha color for leopard, but my couch and my rug ended up being a lot of blacks and grays, so I thought these were perfect for decor because they're black, and I love all that bling around the top. Um, that was already on them. I didn't have to add them or anything. And then it also says it's a chalkboard and you can write on it. Those little stickers that say write on me peel off. But I'm not going to write on them. I'm just going to leave them black with the bling around the top. So those will be cute with little candles in them. Those are from the Dollar Tree. And then I got <clears throat> these candles. My birthday is on March 10th. And I know who buys their own birthday candles, right? But I couldn't pass these candles up, and I didn't really know who else we would use them for. So I got them for my birthday cake because I love all of them. I like the leopard ones, but I thought they were so cute for a dollar. It comes with 24 of them, which is, I guess, not enough for my age, but we'll keep that our little secret. So um, I just thought those were a really good deal. I'd never seen them before at the Dollar Tree. Let me get a quick drink of my coffee. It's starting to get cold. Then I got... Um, okay, that bag's empty. Here's another Dollar Tree bag. I got these for my son. And I was just going to um, 
keep these. His birthday is in April, so I was actually just going to keep these as small little birthday presents. I know they're nothing fancy, but I thought for... Um, being at the Dollar Tree, they were nice. Um, he plays a lot of games on his phone. He has an iPhone, and it says it has a free game with hours of gameplay. And if he can't play it on his iPhone, I have an Android, so he can play it on mine. So this one is Papa Smurf, and it's a little keychain, and then you can also do it on the little um, app or whatever. So I got that one. And they had, a, like, a lot of different ones, but the ones, I think I got two or three of them. I think I got... Yeah, so far I only see two unless there's another one in a bag. So I got Papa Smurf, and then I believe, is this one Donatello? I think the purple one's Donatello. I could be so wrong. But yeah, oh yeah, it is Donatello, I'm right. And this one also comes with a free game, Hours of Gameplay. So I thought those were cute just for little um, presents for his birthday. Then I got, what else from the Dollar Tree? Here's, oh. Here's another one of the little um, boxes. This one has a circle with a heart in it. Because I showed you guys the other three, plus the one that I bought for my mother-in-law. Then I got these cute little socks. I was going to give these away as a gift to throw them in with her goodies. And I wanted them for myself, but I don't think these are going to fit my big old foot. So, And I know they would definitely fit her. They just say socks, and they say size 9 to 11. I don't think, like... I don't think they look like they would uh, fit 9 to 11. I think they look like they would fit more of like, I don't know, 5 to maybe 8, 7 and a half. But it's got the cute hearts with some glitter and then the little lips that look like leopard. The ones that were in the smaller size, I wanted those. Um, but I originally thought I was buying them for myself. So I got these because the hearts had a lot more glitter on them. They were like almost pure silver with glitter. So I just thought those were cute for a Valentine's Day gift to throw. And like I said, I could end up using one of these boxes and just putting the stuff in there like that. Or, But I also have a bag to put the stuff in. So Then I got um, this movie for my son's birthday at Dollar Tree. They've actually... Um, Got quite a bit of movies there lately, and the reason I picked this up is because when I was younger, um, I want to say like around fifth, fourth, no, like fifth grade, um, I used to watch the movie Camp Nowhere. I don't know if any of you guys remember that. It's got Christopher Lloyd, the one from Back to the Future in it, and this was like one of my favorite movies, and then it has Andrew Keegan in it, and Devin, I don't know if it's Devin Sawa or Sawa, I don't know. It's probably Devin Sawa, but, um... This was one of my favorite movies because I had a crush on both of them. Um, you guys know that they were like the kind of teen like heartthrobs back then. And I know this would be a cute movie for my son because he's nine. He's in fourth grade. <clears throat> and I actually looked for this movie um, like this Christmas. I looked for it on his last birthday and I could never find it. So I don't know what this movie is. It's called Baby, um, Baby Secret of the Lost... Or Secret of the Lost Legend Baby. I don't know. It's got Sean Young and William Cat. So I basically bought it just for this movie. And I'm super excited um, to give it to my son for his birthday. Just for this movie. And we'll still give this movie a chance and watch it together. So they had a lot of other movies there as well. Um, <clears throat> I picked up more than one of the Bonnie Bell um, lip blushes. And I believe they're both in the same... Yeah, Serene Strawberry, because I just thought they looked really nice. So I don't know. I either got two or three of those. So if I find another one in a bag, I'll show it to you guys. Then I got... Um, <clears throat> Here's the other pack to the hand sanitizers. So let me put them um, like side by side or whatever. So this one's the Fresh Splash. The Snappy Apple, this one's called Out of the Blue, and this one's called Sunshiny Day. And they all have um, the little um, vitamin E beads in them. So I might give two of them away as gifts and then keep two, or I could just put one with one of the Valentine's Day presents or whatever. So I thought those looked um, really nice. They're antibacterial gels, travel size with vitamin E beads, and they're each one fluid ounce. Then I got, um, here's another card, and 
I don't really have anyone to give this to. This would be like for my boyfriend. I might save it for next year, but I couldn't pass it up. Um, I was like tossed up between the sunglass card and this one, but then I decided this one's kind of girly, but I guess it doesn't matter. I'll probably just give it to him next year. It's got the giraffes and their heads entwined into a heart. It's got the cute little pink rhinestone. It says, you and me are meant to be. And then it says, I'm so happy that you're mine. Happy Valentine's Day. And it's kind of hard. They do have men's Valentine's Day cards, but a lot of them are girly. So he wouldn't mind me giving this to him next year. So there's that from Dollar Tree. Then I got um, another little pair of socks. And these ones have the cute little owl on them. And they say, be mine. I didn't even actually remember buying these ones. So I would... These might fit me. I'll try them on, but I doubt it. So if not, I'll give these to my mother-in-law as well. Or my grandma, one or the other. But actually, you know what? I can't give them to my grandma because my grandma hates owls. So I had showed you guys a while back. I purchased tons of these Milani 3D glitzy glosses. I purchased them um, on some of my last videos and even like a year back I think I got a bunch of them and I still have a lot of them so this was my favorite um color out of all the ones I got so I think I picked up like two or three more um this one is in number 43 um I don't see like what it what the name of it is but it just says 43 on the top so and I love all that shimmer in it it comes out um pretty clear but it's got like a hint of the shimmer in it it's not like big chunks of glitter it's just a subtle um shimmer on your lips so i really like it and i like the packaging of all these glitzy glosses too i think they look really pretty with the gold um the the gold top and then i like the way that they're kind of got that um the little triangles or whatever on or the diamonds on top diamond shapes anyways so here's another dollar tree bag and this is mostly just candy. Um, these are for my son. I'm going to probably take them out of the bags, I'm not sure, and put them into, like, one of the smaller um, Valentine's bags. And this is in the Palmer brand, so it's, like, the more generic brand. It's cookies and cream hearts. It's five ounces. And I also got my son. He is, like, obsessed over WWE. I've told you guys that before. His main thing is WWE and football he's a Raiders fan I'm a Niners fan and um he has almost every wrestler made like legitimately I'm not lying but I went to a yard sale down the street and it reminded me of stuff at the flea market they had a lot of brand new stuff and I got like seven or eight wrestlers that were still in the package and he does have some of them but some of them were in different outfits and she only charged me a dollar for brand new and they were the, the legitimate WWE brand that you get at Target and Walmart. So I'm going to give him all of those for Valentine's Day along with all the candy, the little froggy in his card. So those are also going to go with this gift. So I got the cookies and cream. And then I got him um, the Palmer's hearts. So it has the red ones. They're kind of upside down, the red and silver hearts. And then I showed you the ones I got for my boyfriend. Um... The Luscious Lips. So this is going to be quite a bit of candy between the both of them. And I'll probably have some of it. I told you I got that for my boyfriend. I'm just going to put it side by side with the stuff I got for my son. Here's one of the Dollar Tree receipts with some of the stuff that I got. Some of the candy. I picked up another thing of the Coffee Mate. And I almost didn't get it. And it's a good thing that I did because I just used the last of my creamer this morning. And I would have been so irritated if I didn't have enough for another cup. So, like, I've showed these to you guys before. This is six ounces, and I think those are a good deal because I've told you guys numerous times I've compared the prices with the ounces, and if you buy three or even four, it's actually a better deal. Just in California at the stores that I go to, I don't know about the prices in other states. Then I got these. The This is for... My son, because you guys know he loves football, it says no penalty um, for holding. It just says double crisp, um, chocolatey and smooth crisp, and crunchy candy. It's two ounces, and it's also in the Palmer brand. So I know he'll like that with the little footballs and then his little football magnet. I got this one for Alexia, um, my mother-in-law's granddaughter. 
So it's got Ariel, Belle, and the girl from um, Tangled. Then I got these. I was only going to get one for my boyfriend and then one for my son. But I thought both of these were cute and I couldn't decide. So I got two for my son. I got him. Both of these are Whitman's. Well, actually, all three. Um, the little... I do, actually, they're both labs. The little blonde-haired one with the little... Um, handkerchief scarf thing around his neck with hearts on it and then the chocolate lab which is very cute with the heart glasses so I thought these were definitely a good deal and I was surprised that they even had these left they were actually in a section um where all the candy what wasn't even at so I think that's the only reason that there was a bunch of these left because I think if people would have saw them they would have been wiped out so then I got my son um, just a little bouquet of the Tootsie Bunch Pops, and I thought those were cute, and I saw, um, a bunch of little, um, candy, what do you call them, they're candy bouquets, and it gave me a great idea for next year, and what people were doing, I saw a bunch of them this year, they were getting like a foam ball, and they were getting the smaller, you can use these, but I saw a lot of them in the smaller dum-dums, and they were just sticking them in the foam ball and making a big bouquet of flowers out of the dum-dums. You could use these if you didn't want to spend as much time um, putting them everywhere, but I think it just looks better with the dum-dums because then there's more suckers, and then they would put the um, cellophane around it and tie a bow and make it look like a big bouquet of flowers, but with the suckers, so I want to go ahead and give that a try next year. Then I got, um, for Isaiah, I got him the soccer one, and it says, you're a kit, because I couldn't leave anyone out, so I got one for my son, and then the two grandkids, um, not my grandkids, but you guys know, so this one's for Alexia, Isaiah, and then that one's for Robert, they're all Palmers, so, excuse me, that's a lot of the candy that I got from Dollar Tree, and then, let me see, get this stuff out of the way, I think that might be it for Dollar Tree, so I believe we're moving into the 99 cent only, if I see anything else from Dollar Tree, um, I will let you guys know that it's not from 99 cent only, that it's from Dollar Tree, and I should have unknotted these bags before I started filming this third video, but like a dum-dum, I didn't, so, <clears throat> okay, this is from 99 cent only, it's a cute little pillow, and it says kiss me, they had them in red, and like I told you guys before, I know they have a lot of stuff now that's like a $1.49, um, $1.99, what I try to do when I go to 99 cent only now is limit myself to only getting dollar stuff. And if I see something that's like a dollar forty nine or a dollar ninety nine, and I absolutely have to have it, I'll get it. But I try to limit myself to only getting the dollar stuff. Like I said, with the exception of maybe one or two things, because that kind of defeats the purpose of going to a dollar store, and it does add up. So. Almost all this stuff, I think I might have got one thing that wasn't a dollar, and I will let you know, but everything else, unless I state otherwise, is a dollar. So, here's the Kiss Me pillow in pink, and it just says plush heart, and I don't know why it says ages 3 plus, but it's also got the little thing to hang it. I thought that would be cute to hang on a door, or hang just maybe from your bedpost or something. Then I got this um, little picture frame thing. I got... Oh, yeah, the one tea light one I put back, actually. Um, this one I thought was really cute. It needs to be cleaned with some glass cleaner, but it's got the heart with the cute little pink heart rhinestones, and it says, love, all my, or it says, love, all my love, all my life. So I just thought that was really pretty to set out. I would even set this out um, just on a regular basis. And then I found these really cute picture frames. They had lots of different kinds, but at the time that I was looking at them, I was kind of in a rush to get away from the aisle because there was a weird guy. I know that's kind of mean, but I think he might have been stealing, so I didn't want to, you know, be too near him. So I didn't get a chance to, like, you know, go through all of them, but there was a lot of different colors of rhinestones, different color frames. So I got this one, and it just says Diamond Photo Frame 3.5 by 5 inches, and it's got the kind of light gold rhinestones going around with the black frame. And it looks like, oh no, that's just how it is. Okay, it's not missing any. I thought maybe right there it was missing too. But if you look, that's just where the strip ends because it does it down there too. So I thought that would be really pretty to set out. 
And then I got this one that also has the light gold bling around it, but it's got the black and then the kind of silverish gold um, frame going around it. So I'm going to put these close to each other and maybe put pictures of my son or just whatever pictures I want in it. They had the bling that was just your standard diamond color. They, I think they might have had ones with black bling, and then I think they had blue. And I wasn't very fond of the blue one, just only because of my decor it wouldn't have matched. Then I picked up another thing of hand sanitizer. So I know I told you I keep that around. This kind actually makes your hands smell really good afterwards. It makes them smell like a really good vanilla smell. It's Purell, so I know this brand works very well. It's got the little holder uh, for it that you can put to your keychain, on your purse, whatever you want, so you can refill it. This one is the Purell Advanced Hand Sanitizer Kills. Um, it says kills the most germs. And this one is in the Sprinkled with Love. It looks like a holiday one, but they had quite a bit of them. They had, like, evergreen ones, too, but I liked this one because, like I said, it smelled like vanilla. So, and this one doesn't, some of the hand sanitizer, like, one of the character ones that I just used, like, day before yesterday when I came out of Target, it always makes my hands feel really sticky. This one doesn't do that. My hands don't feel sticky after I use it. Then I got these, and I know it's really early to be thinking about Christmas presents, but you guys know that I, I stash stuff, even if it's a year before, because then at Christmas time, I'm thanking myself for putting stuff away early. So they had these at 99 cent only, and I thought they were really cute. I got this one for my son, and it's Christmas sugar cookie, and it's SpongeBob. So I'm going to put this in the closet for next year. And then I got this one, and it's in Barbie Sugar Plum. I love both of the scents. They're both body washes, and I think these would make um, nice gifts or stuffers. So these will be going in the closet until next year. Then I got... This really cute, and this was another item that was not just a dollar. This was a dollar twenty nine, but I couldn't pass it up because it was the kids' crest, and it's in the Hello Kitty. And I had showed you guys the Hello Kitty crest mouthwash that I got from Dollar Tree, so I thought to pair these both um, would be nice. I'm actually um, gonna stick them in my bathroom for the mornings that Alexia comes over and um, gets ready before school, she'll have her own little kid's toothpaste because my son has um, kid's toothpaste. It's actually not kid's toothpaste, it's teen's toothpaste, but he tends to use the adult toothpaste now more than kids. So I thought with the mouthwash and this on the counter, that would be cute for Alexia. Then I got two deodorants, and you guys know that my signature deodorant is Lady Speed Stick, but they had Secret, and they had the Powder Fresh, and the shower fresh so i picked the shower fresh scent normally i get the powder scent but for some reason i thought for spring coming